Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Tenkaichi chapter 19. I kind of had a feeling that the translation for last month's chapter was going to come out today. And lo and behold, what do I wake up to? Feels pretty good. Uh, so, before we get into this month's reaction, as always, if you haven't already, you should definitely be sure to subscribe. Uh, so you don't miss any future Tenkaichi uploads. And you should also be sure to leave a like on the video. I'd like to try and hit at least... 25 likes on this week's reaction, or not weeks, months. So used to saying week. Anyway, let's get into the chapter. Chapter 19, Onigami. That word sounds very familiar. I assume it means demon something. Let's see here. Onigami, demon god. That's good. That's good. Ho oh, ho, I thought there was something off. Soma boy, you've been asleep this whole time. Huh? Morning, sir. Huh? You can greet people, my boy? Morning. <laughs> ah, I like this now. Hmm. So, who are you? Ho oh, oh, ho, I'm... Ah ha! Ah. Hang on a second. Sorry, I take that back. Let's make it a quiz. And I'll try to guess. What's with this rope? Out of my way. Give me a sec. So you had a hang of my surroundings, could you? Out of focus, are we? Don't make this old man wait too long. Doesn't seem like just his tone changing. When he takes off his mask, his tone changes. I see. That should be useful. Hmm. It's gotten even more balanced. That's no small feat. Details aside. I suppose this means the pressure I'd felt this whole time has finally revealed its true form. Hmm, and then Hoko notices something. God, his proportion. That face looks so weird on that body. What does he notice? Hey, ain't that Nobunaga? And he's old! And just about ready to croak! I can't laugh. No way. No. How? Choco! I've been waiting so long for you to come back. I'll tell you what, a monkey, a monkey speaking Japanese. <laughs> what was that? I ain't sure how many years it's been, but you're the same as ever, ain't you, Hideyoshi? Darn tootin'. Welcome back, Choco. Right, so. Hmm, hmm. Ho oh, ho. Oh, I get it. And that means. Basically, since Nobunaga's about a croak, I've been scouted out for a fight over who's going to take over his domain, right? You're very perceptive. And you're Kamizumi. There, I nailed it, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Uh, hang on. You're a sword saint, ain't you, Kamizumi? I've heard about you. Pretty strong, huh? Oh, you've got promise, my boy. And ready. I'm sorry to make you wait, Kamizumi. This guy's so nice. I didn't expect this. I'm gonna feel really bad when he fucking dies by the end of this. I'm gonna feel like shit. <sighs> anyway. I've had this down pat ever since I was little. Kill it, I mean. Oh, about time. He's already gotten a grasp on his surroundings. Or was his sleep simply a bluff? I don't think it's a bluff when he had a fucking spike shoved through his brain. Ah, he's back. The old Choco's back. Long ago, there is said to have been a baby with horns born in a village in the mountains called Hino. He was able to stand just a few days after he was born and could understand speech in a matter of months. Also, he's a genius. He's like Musashi a little, I guess. He's a genius. He's also a physical fucking freak, holy shit, look at that physique from a from an infant, from a newborn. His ravenous appetite, overwhelming intelligence, and human strength are beyond anybody's control. So we're kind of getting a little bit of the riding backstory. And so, before long, the horned baby was feared and revered by the people of Hino Village. As an onigami, a demon god. Is that all for this year's offerings, Mama? Yes. That's it. She's wearing a horn, bruh. It ain't enough, is it? I'm sorry. It ain't enough. It ain't nearly enough. Really? 
So it's just as usual then. Yes, thank you. I love you. I love you more than anybody else, my Oigami. This is a little weird. Don't think nothing about it, Mama. This is just my duty as the Onigami. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's a little a strange relationship going on here if she's his actual mom. The Onigami, as his name implies, had godlike strength. Which was used to settle disputes over watering rights with other villagers. In these life-or-death battles, these sumo matches, he put his power on full display. He looks really good here, actually. I like this design for him better than the design he has right now. Not stopping at just water. He plundered crops, money, wares, and all manner of riches with his strength. As it was the Onigami's duty. Boy, what's your name? Name? My name's Choco. I'm a Rikishi, recognized by Oda Nobunaga himself. I never thought I'd lose to some little boy before I die. Tell me your name. Onigami. That's my name. Ha. <laughs> How pathetic. You have such strength, and yet your parents never even gave you a name. Woohoo! He won! Hmm. But he told you his name. His name's Choco. And then he said his name's Onigami. Since you don't understand other people, your overwhelming strength is no different from the forces of nature. No, it's practically the power of the gods. Ironic. And then he just smushes his head with his hand. His, his head. Eee! Onigami is angered. Onigami. That's disgusting. I mean, that's degrading. And I told you to stop killing people like that. What in the hell are you thinking? He's about to kill the shit out of her. I ain't gonna let you suck on titties no more. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what, what, what terrible aura. My apologies. Hope you learned your lesson. Watch yourself. I mean it. His hand's shaking a little. He's about to kill the f Oh, All the feared the Onigami, and none could stop his plundering. Oh. No? Thanks for everything, Onigami. There's some other woman with it. Uh. Oh, um. Uh, huh. Weird. That. What the fuck is going on with this guy? He's such a fucking weirdo. This is such a strange fucking backstory. Okay, I don't feel I don't. I'm not gonna feel bad anymore when he gets killed by Kamizumi. This shit is so fucking strange. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. My apologies. We've upset Onigami. Let's leave Gosaku. Hmm. A name. Huh? You and babies have got names. Could you give me a name, mama? What the hell are you jabbering on about? Did you forget it? You're Onigami! Huh? I guess I've done something wrong again. I'm sorry. Never mind about... Onigami! It's urgent! A, a samurai's come to the village. Oh, they look stripped the fuck out. And he told us to call for Onigami. Who is this? Is it... I am Oda Danjo no Chu Nobunaga. It is my will to rule over this entire domain. Damn, he looks like a humongous badass back when he was young. I have learned of a certain devil and his plundering and evil deeds. One who slaughtered even Choco. This devil must be none other than you. I am no devil. Sir, I'm an Oniga. Please, wait. He's the devil. He did all of this. Oh. I was powerless against... You waste your breath. Fire. Uh... Zen no Oyabazu. An expression of inevitability known for being among Nobunaga's final words at Honoji. Hmm. 
No! Oh, she stands behind Choco and just gets fucking lit up. Ho? Oh. So you did not die, devil. Yep, looks that way. That was real mean, you know. Hurts a lot. Your attitude has changed quite a bit. Between before and now, which is your true nature? Don't know. I don't get that kind of stuff. I mean, hell, my parents ain't even given me a name. Funny, eh? Fascinated. The true devil is dead. Now, live on as Choco and use your strength for my sake. So at the end of the day, my strength gets me a borrowed name. Mind if I turn you down? Then I will proceed to kill you, as I had originally come here to do. Wow, you're a real friendly guy, mister. Eh, you might be better than Mama, at least. And he just can't stop sucking. <laughs> and even Nobunaga's like, what the fuck? Yeah, the other guy's like, what the hell is he? Gross, tastes like blood. I don't care no more. In the year 1578, Chogo traveled to Nobunaga and showed his overwhelming true strength to Nobunaga's retainers at the Grand Sumo matches in his territory of Mount Azuchi. Thereafter, Choco joined Nobunaga on the battlefield, and so, absolutely fucking obliterated, armies of men helped unite Japan. To the Onigami, his mother, with his entire world, and his shackle, now freed from all constraints. The Onigami wielded his strength, whichever way his empty heart led him. It ain't enough. It ain't enough. It ain't nearly enough. So he's just a sociopath. And his fierce, overwhelming strength, lacking any consideration for others, truly made Choco an Onigami. In the year 1590, with Kanto conquered, the land of Japan was unified. Um, Choco... Are you really going to go through with this? Yep, don't worry. I feel like I might end up killing myself out of boredom otherwise. I really don't get you. After making me go out of my way to prepare all this, the least you can do is tell me why. It's a god's anguish. Some ain't something ordinary people would get. Hee, you really irk me sometimes. Here you go, the mask you asked for. From what I heard, it apparently uses those medical needles they know about on the continent. There's no guarantee it can be undone. That ain't gonna be an issue. This is just a hunch. But I know Nobunaga's gonna pull something, even after he's taken this whole land. Well, till the day comes, good night. Here we are back in the cage. How many pages do we have left in the chapter? Oh, we've still got a little over ten. Ooh, it's been a long time, Choco. Damn that Tokichiro. He knew something, didn't he? Ho ho ho. Everyone's flabbergasted. The only one who knew Choco's sleep was caused by this mask was me. But now it's set in stone that I'm gonna win this match. Oh hey, Kamizumi. You got a name you want me to call you? It's just Kamizumi fine, or maybe Sword Saint? What an odd thing to ask. Can we just get started? It matters, though. The name makes the man, you know? Now it just sounds like you're lecturing me, but I suppose it's true. Call me Bushin, the martial god, because I'm the strongest in the world. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's... Oh, Kamizumi. Well, now we've gotten both backstories. Well, actually, no, the fuck we haven't. Well, now that we've gotten Choco's backstory, I don't think we need Kamizumi's backstory. Well, I'm rooting for Kamizumi. 100%. Oh, Bushin, huh? I like it. And you can call me Onigami. Alright, so this is a battle of gods. A demon god and a martial god. Oh, let's see here. We've got the back and forth again. Well, not really back and forth. It's Choco swinging around at Kamizumi, and Kamizumi just dodging it all. He's gotten even faster, and that's not all. He's seen Kamizumi's movements and reacting to them. Ooh, now this is pretty good. You're flowing around me like water. Neat. Let's change up the attack then. 
Ooh, he leaps onto the roof, onto the ceiling, and then he comes down and smashes the ground. Hoyo! Just how can you do that with your frame? Now, where will you attack from next? Ooh, down very low, right down to the ground. What? Ah, fuck me. <laughs> ah, fuck me. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, so, looks like Kirby goes up for a punch. Oh no, he just does a fucking bar, he smashes through the cage. Yes? Oh, he smashed the cage off of them. They can't, the cage is not powerful enough to contain them. Is it gonna crush the femboy? Almost. My word. He's hella strong. Eee! Cage. Out of my way. Ooh, that fucking axe kick. Oh my god. That looks so good. Goodness me. Kamizumi stopped moving? Wow, uh, no way. Is he gonna end it here? Kamizumi gonna unsheath his sword? <sighs> Brings down his foot. Kamizumi is not there. Oh? My word. Oh, he dodged. Guess they don't call you Bushin for nothing. How'd you dodge that? Ho oh, ho, you wanna know? It's open. What, the gates of the underworld? It seems Sensei has recognized Choco. What? What do you mean by open? The door to the martial consciousness, which Sensei reached. Then let me tell you. The gate of celestial awakening. Why they call me Bushin. On to a battle of a higher order. To a new realm beyond. Here for your breast, though. There, I see. This is the connecting thread between these two characters. They are both men that love titties. Makes perfect sense. Fuck, I'm so mad I have to wait a month. Ugh. God damn it. That was a good chapter. I definitely want Choco to lose now. That is solidified. He's a sociopath and a fucking weirdo. So, I don't care if he dies. But you here, Mr. Sword Saint, you're on some different shit. The fucking, uh, the eyebrows turning into horns. That's good. That's real good. Well, that was a weird but interesting chapter. Uh, this fight is going quite well thus far. I don't really go on the subreddit or anything, but I like to imagine that people are liking this a lot more than the, uh... The Yagyu and uh, William Adams fight. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about it. So with that, that's all for this month's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Tenkaichi chapter reactions every month whenever the chapters get translated. If you enjoy discussing Tenkaichi with other people or... If you just enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.